Yo, what's up, guys? In today's video, I'm going to be talking about the Chicago Bulls being linked to Chris Paul. Also talking about how Patrick Williams must have a big offseason for the Chicago Bulls and their future. And later in today's video, talking about some potential Zach Levine trade ideas and what a trade would look like for Zach Levine. But nonetheless, before I jump into today's video, make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. Also, leave a quick like below. Today's video it takes a second and helps me out a lot. And leave some comments and questions below today's video about all the topics i just listed and i'm about to break down but nonetheless let's just jump right into it definitely check out my past few videos in my last video i was talking about the whole deandre aiden situation and the sun's kind of falling apart in the nba playoffs and in today's video i'm going to be continuing to talk about that and there has been some reports saying that the suns are expected to be a very aggressive and shop and try and trade chris paul in this upcoming summer it's pretty likely that chris paul will be playing for a different NBA NBA team next season and with that report saying out I know he has been linked to the Chicago Bulls and a few other teams and I know a bunch of Bulls fans on Twitter and Facebook have really talked about if the Chicago Bulls should be interested in what a potential trade would look like for Chris Paul. So before I jump into this whole situation and break it down, leave some comments and questions below today's video if you guys would want the Bulls to target Chris Paul. I was talking about the whole DeAndre Aiden situation in my last video, so definitely check out that video. And this article did come out from BleacherNationBulls.com, and they were talking about, you know, obviously DeAndre Aiden and Chris Paul are getting a lot of hate, and they're kind of on the trade market, or they're going to be. Should the Chicago Bulls pay any attention or make any calls to the Phoenix Suns? And I also wanted to say at betonline.ag, the Chicago Bulls do have 12 to 1 odds that Chris Paul will be on the Chicago Bulls next year. The Lakers are the favorite with 3 to 1 odds that they're going to be Chris Paul's next team, but I just wanted to mention that. And let's just start with Chris Paul. Like I said, I talked about the whole Aiden situation in my last video. I like Chris Paul. He's one of the best point guards of all time. He's going to be in the Hall of Fame, but let's be real. He hasn't been the same Chris Paul for a few seasons now. I feel like every playoffs, he's always hurt or he's just not playing well. Chris Paul is 38 years old now, and he's coming off his fewest games played since the 2018 NBA season. And he's also owed about $31 million next year. Although, to be clear, only about $16 million of that is guaranteed. I just don't see Chris Paul wanting to come to the Bulls. He's 38 years old. And he wants to win a championship now. I don't really see many NBA teams being interested in a 38-year-old kind of injury-prone point guard that's making $31 million a season now. I just don't see it being realistic. If the Bulls were maybe a player or two away from a championship run, maybe like the Bucks, maybe this could be a conversation, but it just doesn't make any sense right now. I honestly don't understand why any Bulls fans are even talking about this. I like Chris Paul. I always have as a player. He's just getting older, more injury-prone and he's making way too much money. I mean, let's just say the Bulls traded for Chris Paul. The Chicago Bulls would be paying Lonzo Ball $20 million to not play and then Chris Paul about $31 million. I mean, realistically, the Bulls would probably have to include Lonzo Ball's contract to make any trade even close to happen. It's just not realistic in any way, shape, or form. Maybe if he gets bought out, I could see the Bulls being interested, but he's still 38 years old. That's really old. I'm just not for it. And the next topic in today's video, I wanted to talk about this tweet that I saw that Chicago Bulls Central did put out on Twitter. And he did tweet out saying, you know what I've noticed? The Bulls have legit no way of really improving this roster. He said they can't trade for any superstars that request a trade due to the lack of picks and quality young players, nor can be that active in free agency because they don't have that much salary cap. And I've obviously talked about this in past videos. The Bulls are kind of in basketball hell right now. And I really don't see an easy way out of it. Either they can go all in to try and retool about Zach Levine. I talked about that in my last video. Or honestly, best bet would probably to be blow up this whole roster and try to rebuild the correct way. But I think we all know the Bulls front office has said many times that they don't want to rebuild. They want to retool around Zach Levine and win now. I could maybe see the Bulls signing and trading Vooch or DeMar DeRozan being the odd big three out and trading him. Who truly knows? But with the Bulls being very limited, 
limited on salary cap and trade assets the only way that this bulls team can really improve in my eyes is from interior growth and that really just depends on the young guys hopefully zach levine can take another step forward and become a superstar but i'm mainly talking about hopefully the bulls can bring back kobe white i feel like they they just can't let him walk for nothing in this upcoming offseason hopefully they can bring him back he can continue to get better same with dale and terry but if the chicago bulls want to improve patrick williams needs to take that next step forward he's only 21 years old he's a 6'8 small forward power forward with a seven foot wingspan he was the fourth pick back in 2020 for a reason i think we all know and we all see the potential and the skills and just the skill set this man has when he wants to play that's the big question when he wants to get up to play basketball and when he's aggressive taking shots and just being active on the floor and on the defensive side of the basketball he could be a really good two-way player i can already see him being a really good three and d wing for the bulls for a while now but if this bulls team ever wants to take a big leap forward patrick williams needs to become that star that he has hinted at through a few plays here and there we've all seen the talent we've all seen the athleticism he always has a wow play here and there I mean, let's be real. Patrick Williams is already a really good defender at only 21 years old, and he's a really good three-point shooter. On his career, he is shooting 41% from three-point range. I like him a lot, but he needs to take that next step. This offseason is going to be huge for Patrick Williams in my eyes. Also, Kobe White and Dalen Terry. And the final topic in today's video that I wanted to talk about is some potential Zach Levine trades and just what they would look like. Now, the Knicks have been really linked and interested in Zach Levine, especially around this past trade deadline. So I'm going to throw up some potential trade packages of Zach Levine to the Knicks. Just give me your thoughts and opinions and potential trade ideas below today's video. Now, the first potential trade would be the Knicks getting Zach Levine and the Bulls getting Evan Fournier, Quinton Grimms, RJ Barrett, and two first rounders. Now, I don't see the Knicks giving up all that. That's a lot for Zach Levine. I would definitely be interested in that package if the Bulls ever do rebuild. But like I've said many times, I just don't see that happening. Now, I could also see the Lakers being very interested in Zach Levine and DeMar DeRozan. I don't know what a potential trade package would look like. But let's just say the Knicks would be interested in DeMar DeRozan. A potential Bulls trade package for DeMar DeRozan would be the Bulls getting RJ Barrett, Obi Toppin, Evan Fournier, and also two future first round draft picks once again i don't see that being realistic i feel like that's a lot to give for demar Derozan, given that he's getting up there in age and next season will be his last year of that contract now i've said this in past videos and i'm going to continue to say it i just don't see this bulls team blowing up this roster and rebuilding definitely check out my last video if you guys missed it i was talking about the bulls how they're open to making a big trade and they might trade demar Derozan to make zach levine the number one scoring option and re tool around him definitely leave some comments and questions below today's video about all the topics updates rumors the whole chris paul situation some potential zach levine trades and patrick williams big offseason for the chicago bulls thank you guys for watching today's video have a good one